guys welcome back today I think what we're gonna do is go a little bit more in more in depth on the uh, this XRP line one and this uh, buyback this seems to be intriguing a lot of people and again like I said this I've been looking at a lot of information from pretty much everybody and this is the closest that makes sense to me Everything just seems to be lining up perfectly for this. How even quants jumping up, Cardano went up. <clears throat> it's like all these, all these uh, other coins are going up. So, so what they I think what they want you to do is to put all your XRP in those, and to miss the the climb here. It's coming up maybe possibly next week or two weeks from now. And it's gonna be quite fast and it's going to be hard to buy XRP uh, while when it's going up it's going to be quite hard to find it and to buy it because you know as usual the exchanges start locking up and there's not that many exchanges to buy anyway so we talked about that before in previous videos and this you know this channel is it's not <laughs> it's not going to be a big channel and I don't I don't mind it because I don't I don't need it to to work I guess I'm just trying to uh, I'm just trying to spread some information on this XRP now this this may blow up after XRP goes up because a lot of people are gonna be looking for information across the internet first thing I'd like to discuss is the XRP rich list if you go if you google ledger XRP rich list you'll see like uh, like all the wallets and all the people that own XRP how many there are and a lot of people are saying like if you have like 2500 XRP you're in the top 10% and if you're above about 100k XRP you're in the top 1% now I looked at this chart and without looking at the chart I mean you just gotta guess if I was the billionaires right if I'm looking at this at this graph and this chart if I was the billionaires I would not and I don't want other people to be billionaires right you look at the chart and it the four thousand dollars per XRP coincides with the uh, around 250 K like I think I think I said this last time so 250,000 XRP or 225,000 XRP multiplied by 4,000 is a billion so they looked at this chart and said this is who's gonna be rich and we're gonna stop everyone else from becoming billionaires because you got to understand this is like the generational wealth once in a lifetime thing for XRP and they don't want a bunch of people joining them at the top level you know so anybody above 250,000 is, is going to be hitting a billionaire mark right that's that's after taxes because what XRP line one was actually saying was this, it was like 5975 per XRP and he already calculated the taxes and he's, he roughly estimates it 4025 is the actual cash out price that you'll receive in your bank now how are you going to receive it we don't know yet but we also <clears throat> we also have to plan ahead because we know that the dollar is supposed to crash in the future so what they could be doing is paying out everybody in these uh in these millions in their in cash or u.s dollar to the bank and then the next month or so they crash the whole system they crash the whole dollar so you gotta be careful here and once we take it into the dollar, what's the limits that your bank puts on you back to uh, Uphold or Coinbase? You know, there's a, I think there's a limit to, 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 to buy into weekly. And there's also limits to take out. So we're limited. What are you going to do with millions? Where are you going to put it? That's, that's going to be the next question. Where are we going to put all this money at? So I suggest you buy properties, you know, buy like million million dollar property. if you have a lot of millions you know, buy as much as you can of like of like properties maybe apartment buildings if you have that much islands resorts I don't know what you're gonna do but something to put your money out of the dollar you can't if you keep it there it's gonna depreciate in value and it's, it could possibly crash you don't want to end up being rich of XRP pay you out in dollar and it freaking crashes that'd, that'd be terrible right so 
you gotta start putting it back into it. Like I would buy other cryptos also. Once once it comes out, I'll put it back in and buy Quant, all those all those Cardanos, pretty much Solanas, all those coins too. Put it back in USDC into cryptos. So there's a lot of things you can do. Just start planning ahead. But about the 19th of this month, they're saying it's that's gonna be the uh, the announcement of the settlement between SEC and XRP. It could be off a few days, or it may not happen. It could be delayed. You know, right? I got my, I have my feelings of this XRP land guy. So if he's right, it's either he is talking to whoever he's talking to, like he says he is, or is, or is this just part of their plan again? And they're gonna make if this guy ends up with like a hundred million followers within a month, I'm gonna say it's part of their plan to uh, so he can he can move us to sell all our XRPs at 4,000, right? I don't know, I'm just, I'm just always uh, thinking a little bit ahead. But either way, it doesn't matter, because it's nice. Uh, like you said, don't be too greedy. Just, just take what you can get out of this. Hopefully you bought enough to, uh, to get out of the rat race that you're in. You know, I'm in a rat race right now, I gotta get out of it. So let's go over a couple things I like to go over in this video is, uh, so the 19th is the, the, the timeline for the uh, SEC settlement, and then next month, about the 29th, uh, they're saying the buyback, the buyback thing will occur. So if the buyback part occurs, I would say that the price is already above 100 before then. It's got to be. It's got to be over 100 before the buyback, because if if they announce the buyback, everyone's just going to hold it, right? So they want people to sell it before it hits 4,000. So They'll probably do the buyback above a thousand dollar price, my guess. And that's just a guess. I'm just thinking this out. I'm just doing thought experiments. Because if I was them, why would you announce it a hundred or fifty dollars so that you could do a buyback at four thousand? Because then you just lost all those people that potentially could have sold all their XRPs way before four thousand and then they would, the banks could have bought them out, right? So it's got to be above a thousand, I would think. And then the payout would be December 23rd, 21st, somewhere around that time frame. I'm not really, I'm just, I'm just watching this guys. I'm not really like 100% this is going to happen, but it just makes, again, it makes so much sense. It's so hard to, uh, to deny like that, what well, that's what could happen. And even Jeb McCaleb, Moon Lambo said his wallet's empty and then, and another source, I think Ripple Band Winkle said about December it'll be empty, so I don't know which one is correct. So uh, it's all lining up, you know, and, X, and Jeb McKillop had to sell all this because they don't want him to be a quadrillionaire, right? If somebody with 200,000 XRP could be a billionaire, what are you gonna, I mean, they don't want somebody with 250 billion XRP to become a trillionaire and then and so forth, you know? And I'm glad I followed my instincts also with I Trust Capital. I'm glad I followed my instincts because I was gonna use them before, but I was like, you know what? I'd rather I hold the, the XRPs. I know it's it's good, and generally, uh, you know, 401ks and uh, and uh, IRAs are good, and leave them in here. But I just don't trust any anybody right now except my ledger. My ledger wallet is the only thing I trust. And we don't know, like I said, regulations come, can come out and they could just say, all right, all the institutions uh, give us your XRPs. You know, and then they all sell out. They sell to you at $100 or $500 or whatever. You'll be happy. But knowing that it was gonna go to 4,000 and, and they and they sell it at 4,000, right? So I trust capital sells it to you at 100 bucks knowing that it's gonna go to 4,000, so they hold it. They give back to you and say, "Sorry, this is uh, we're no longer uh, holding XRPs. Here's your money. You can convert it to other assets if you want." And then they hold the, all their XRPs and then sell it four thousand a piece for the buyback. So you, I don't really trust anything going into the exchanges right now. All right, and exchanges, even XRP Lions said the exchanges are going to open up. Now all this, all this stuff is credit to him, and I'm not trying to. Uh, do, I'm not. I'm not. I have nothing to gain from all this information. This is just the, what resonates with me the most. 
all this information on the internet that I find, and with myself, knowing the stuff of stuff I know. So, so try to keep your. I mean, buy. It's gonna be tough to buy ledgers right now, probably because they're probably weightless. But you need to get yourself on a ledger and make sure it's brand new. And make sure it's not like it, it's not open and it, it hasn't been hacked in some way, or it's already got a pre pre uh, passphrase printed out. You don't want that. All right. So you're just gonna make someone else rich. So. And then also, they mentioned that Coinbase is different from Uphold. Like Uphold is like a, what do you say, a facilitator. So it's better to hold it on, if you have nowhere to put it, at least put it on Uphold. But to me, they're all, they're all the same. And Coinbase is, is, uh, is different. It's, it's, uh, you may, I think it's all about losing your XRPs. Like I mentioned earlier, like Coinbase could probably buy, take your XRPs also, and and Uphold has their own wallets, I guess. All I know is buy some ledger, put your stuff in your own wallet, and then sell it back on your own terms. All right. Um, and he explained it quite well too. Like the ledger, the, okay, all the XRPs on the ledger. It's on like the ledger protocol, like the RippleNet already on there so when you have your own wallet all it does is allocate ownership to you that's my understanding but it's still on the XRP ledger I'm not talking about the wallet ledger just XRP ledger when they do the buyback and you don't sell it back at that time whatever is left in wallets outside the uh, in the ledger protocol that the banks do not hold will become zero value only because you cannot sell it anywhere right you can send it probably places maybe somebody will buy it but I don't know how because they have no place to sell it unless the banks are, are buying back in the black market which I don't know I'm gonna keep just a couple thousand maybe just uh, outside the uh, uh, after the buyback just to see what happens and I have, I have uh, quite a few so a couple thousand I'll just leave it out and I won't I won't need to uh, I just want to see what happens maybe I'll get a buyback offer price later down the road you know you never know and that's all really I had right now I'm just trying to uh, understand it and what he's saying and maybe uh, try to give you a different point of view with this with this uh, buyback but uh, maybe some ideas too, just what to do. Now, I'm in the same boat as you guys, and I'm just trying to, to follow this through. Even, you know, even myself, sometimes I, I question like this investment. That's me knowing what I know. That's me knowing the XRP is the one, and I still question myself at times. So imagine everybody else. So everybody else probably are not that, uh, don't have that much belief in this uh, XRP as much as I do because of what I think I know anyway but everybody else would just sell it they would just sell it at 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 all the way to 100, 200, 400, 500 keep selling it but I plan to sell I plan to sell at least 5,000 maybe 100 bucks or maybe a little less maybe at 75 bucks so we'll see Anyways, guys, that's all I got. I just want, I'll, I'll keep you guys up to date with like a part three, maybe. Maybe you want to hear this, this kind of thought process on this uh, whole buyback reversal. All right, guys, thanks. See ya. Bye.